And so y- you got to lighten up, you know, just 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 lighten up. And 10 and probably the biggest one is drop the excuses. There is no excuses. Hey, if you get beat, you get beat. Pat your pat the the guy that wins it on the back, give him some credit, shake his hand, say, "Man, nice job. He was better than me today." And move on. You you, you can't fix the past, so move on. So those are the first 10 things you got to kind of do to get yourself dialed in for these resolutions to make it stick. And then we move on. Then you've got to pick one major racing goal. So um, chime in here on the chat line. I, I'll be curious to see. So what is one major goal that you guys all have? Chase, what, what, what's your major goal for 2015? I know going down to the Holiday Classic, their goal was to uh, break, get the monkey off the back because they had some DNFs. They did that. Tim Chase says, don't sweat the small stuff, and it is all small stuff. And really, it is. At the end of the day, is it going to matter five years from now? That's what you got to ask yourself. So, But if you pick that major goal, whether it's to win more races, to get out and practice more, whatever it is, you got to write it down. For years, I didn't do that. I didn't think it, I didn't think it mattered. Um, it, it, it was just Axis Racing Chassis says they want to win a Duffy. That, awesome. Write it down. You, you got to write. If you don't write it down, you're not going to do it because, you know, 38 percent of the Americans that make resolutions, uh, they never make them. They, they don't. They don't make them at all. 17 percent infrequently make resolutions. Forty five percent usually do. And you know what? Only eight percent are successful in achieving their resolutions. That's horrible. And that's just that's just giving up. That's just quitting. <laughs> Sean Carr says actually getting to race. I love it. Well, hey, if that's a goal, Carr, then then write it down. You got to write it down, and and you got to use the smart method. Just like in racing, you got to use the smart method. And the smart method is this: S stands for specific. Whatever your racing goal is, write it down and make it specific. I'm gonna start. Practice going to the racetrack and practice uh, thirty minutes a day, starting January one or you know January four, whatever it is. It's got to be measurable, so you've got to put a time frame or something on it so you can measure to see if you're actually gaining on it or you're losing ground. It's got to be actionable, so it's got to be something that's going to want to make you take action. Joe Stackman says, "Be a more serious contender and make a nationals." I mean, how does how does the best closer in the business have a goal of being more uh, a contender? He's made every BK7. He is one of two guys. The other one being the Rocket Ronnie Cox. Stackman, that's a great that's a great goal. But man, you're always a contender, pal. Um, it's got to be actionable. It's got to be realistic. Realistic. I mean, don't don't say, hey, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to win. You know, the next three nationals. I, I mean, it's probably not going. I mean, it could. But it's probably not going to happen. It's got to be realistic. And then it's got to be time specific. I'm going to do this by such and such a time. I'm going to lose that 30 pounds by, you know, uh, August 31st, 2015 or whatever it is. Yes, keep it simple. Absolutely it is. But those are the things you have to do. So if, if you're not, if you're failing to plan, what do they say? That means you're planning to fail. And, and whether it's your personal stuff or the racing stuff, this is huge. I'm just kind of getting this now. I mean, it is important, and you got to write this stuff down, and you've got to tell somebody so that you're held accountable for it. And let me tell you the other thing. I told my wife this this morning. Happiness is the precursor to success. You you know, there's no way, there's just no way you can be happy if there's negativity and you're just being, there's just no way it can happen. You can't be both. You're either negative or you're not, or you're either happy or you're not. So get happy. And then lastly, focus on the things that you want. So if you want, if you want that Duffy, if you, if you want to be a contender, then focus on that. Here, here's a great quote. The heart goes where the head takes it, but neither one of them, care much about the whereabouts of the feet so think about that that's that's a 
that's a pretty bold statement there, and and it really hits home if you think about it. And then to help you out, like we said, some of these I mentioned before up there, but you know, trash the negative thoughts, get them out of there. Treasure your experiences more than your possessions. So enjoy going to the racetrack. Enjoy getting the experience. It's never a failure if you go to the racetrack as long as you learn something. You're always learning something. It may not have worked, but you know, man, uh, it didn't work this time, but I'm going to log it down because somewhere that's going to work. So you're, you're never failing unless you make the same mistake twice. Be grateful. Be, be grateful you get to race. Be grateful you can race. Be grateful that there is racing, that we live in a country that, that – has marvelous, uh, you know, people that are, are protecting us and keeping our family safe. Dedicate time to help others. So that means helping other racers out. Um, Tim Chase is doing that. I got some big news to tell you about the UAS. It's, it's uh, the big news of Jason Gibb coming, but there's even some some big news just after the Holiday Classic. So stay tuned. That's going to be coming up right after uh, 8 o'clock when we get done with Brittany. So, and lastly, Zig Ziglar says it best. In order to get what you want, you, you got to help another you got to help enough other people get what they want and that just means man get out there and 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 help you know the best thing you can do is to help somebody and expect nothing in return or actually help somebody that you know can't help you in return and just give i mean it's a uh, it's a big deal so hopefully um, and, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm preaching to you guys. And I know some of you probably say, oh, yeah, I've already heard this stuff. And, you know, but I'm, I'm telling you, it took 51 years it's taken me to figure this out that you do have to write things down. It works. It's proven. People do it all the time. Successful people do it all the time. And if you read all the successful people that there are, I mean, and there's a there's a bunch of them, I guarantee you they will say you have to write things down. There's just no way around it and you've got to be accountable you know so dan Watkins, you're 100 percent right you never lose you just are always learning and, that, and that's right it's like the light bulb you know what what did edison say you know i didn't i didn't fail a thousand times i just found a thousand ways that didn't work and that's the way you got to approach everything and i and i bet if you go into 2015 with that attitude your season will not only be way better than you expected but you'll have a lot more fun. Everybody around you will be, you know, benefit from it. Your spouse will probably benefit from it. And it'll just be awesome. Try it. Okay? Just just trust me and try it. So I'm going to tell you right now, because the resolution links are like this. The people that make it through the first week, 75%. 71 make it past two weeks. 64% make it past a month and 46% make it past six months. So, uh, man, it, it kind of drops pretty good. Um, 45% usually make resolutions, 17% infrequently do, 38% never do, 8% are successful in achieving their resolutions, 49%, uh, have infrequent success and 24% never succeed and always fail. But check this out. There's hope. People who explicitly make resolutions and tell somebody else about it are 10 times more likely to attain their goals than those who don't. So think about that. And then I'm just going to throw this in there for the fun of it. 39% of the people in their 20s achieve their resolutions. Fourteen percent of those fifty and over do. So we got some work to do, <laughs> us older folk. But um resolutions are a big deal. And, and and they work in racing. You gotta set yourself some goals. You gotta have one. Otherwise you're just floating around there uh doing nothing. And man, I want to see everybody be successful in 2015 isn't that what new year's is all about can't worry about the past it's a done deal i know it sounds like i'm preaching i, I don't want to preach i'm just trying to say hey just try it it makes sense um 
it, it's a good thing. It's a good, healthy thing, and that and that's what we're all about. And then I want to tell you, you know, when we first start, when I first started these podcasts, I I kind of had my mission statement, and 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 it is, it's about you guys. I want to do a show that's for you guys, that you want to hear, that that's interesting, and but I want to add to that is, I want it to be informative. I want you guys to leave here getting something out of it you feel like wow you know what that that was kind of interesting yeah i've kind of heard that before but nonetheless i you know i i kind of left here with a, a good feeling a good thought and uh that's my new mission statement i want to help you guys be the best that you can be i'm looking to be the best i can be i'm always taking constructive criticism so if you have some for me you got something you want to hear on the show man let me know um i've got some exciting stuff coming out i'm here in a couple weeks i'm gonna have chris cunningham on the show. Uh, he's going to be my guest host, uh, and he is the uh, general manager of the Evergreen Speedway, and we're going to be talking about some cool things that Evergreen's going to be doing in the season. Um, I've talked to Molly Helmuth. I'm going to have her on the show. She's another female phenom that's doing the uh, late model series. Um, I've got some exciting stuff coming up uh, that's going to be really, really cool. So I've got it written down, and now I've I've put it out there to you guys, so now you guys can hold me to it. And, uh, man, we're just coming up on 8 o'clock. I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm just going to give you some a little bit of, of, of an introduction to our, our caller of the week, who is Brittany Zamora. Not only is she a beautiful young lady, she can flat wheel. I've, I've been watching her since she was in uh, junior class and go-karts, and she was uh, absolutely awesome. Her and Stingray Rob put on some of the best junior one, junior two, um, battles, uh, I think I've ever seen other than maybe, um, the band at Justin DeMars and Enrique Jaime here in 2013 at the Grand Nationals. That was, uh, quite a, quite a battle too. But Brittany is a, a beautiful young lady. She's, uh, just, a an awesome wheel. She comes from great, uh, of great family that's behind her all the way. Check it out. Her first season, in mini stocks at Hermiston Speedway. She wins the championship and she is rookie of the year. It was so cool because I we had a, a gold cup that was uh, at Tri Cities and I happened to get done there and, and I beat feet over to Hermiston because it was her, uh, she was racing there Saturday night and I got to see her first main event win. It was so cool. I, I just couldn't believe it. The only thing I was a little bummed out about was the announcer didn't uh actually uh get as excited as he should have about it so here's Brittany. so hang on here Brittany zamora is that you yeah it is hey kid i i'm just tell you i am so excited you're on the show oh thank you yes you absolutely so and tell me if i'm not right so your first season in mini stocks was last year correct Yes, it was. Okay. And you ran at Hermiston, correct? Yep, for the championship point. And you and you won the championship, correct? Yeah, I did. Wow. And you were also <laughs> rookie of the year, right? Yep. That's a stellar season, kiddo. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I mean it doesn't get much better than that. And then and then wait for it. You went over to the fall classic over at Yakima and you beat Roger Havoc, who is one of the best mini stock drivers around. And you, you, you won the fall classic in the mini stock division. Is that correct? Yeah, I did. It was a really fun race. Good night, girl. You've been killing it. I, I just think it's, I just think it's awesome. Okay. So first things first, I need one personal resolution that you're going to have for 2015. Um, hopefully just to go out there and all the races I'm going to compete in and do my best. Hopefully for a lot of wins. That's awesome. Okay, and so that's your personal one. Now, do you do you have a, a racing resolution that you're that you're going to do? I mean, is it going to be practice more or be out in the shop with Dad more or help with setups more? What, what's your racing resolution? Yeah, just pretty much all of that. Just to, definitely a lot more practice just so I can – get used to the tracks that I'm going to be going to for the first time. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so so everybody that's out there listening, you know, um, do you know Bruce Mooney? 
Sorry, what? Do you know who Bruce Mooney is?